Well, hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Hunter's Moon reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. The Hunter's Moon is a very special time for me. The energy is about going after your dreams and goals at high speed. Um, I thought I'd do a quick bonus reading for you all. It coincides with the 31st of October, which is uh, Halloween. It's also a blue moon, so uh, let's get straight to it, my beautiful Pisces. We have the High Priestess, trusting in your intuition regarding uh, some sort of opportunity there. Um, we also have the star card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Garden Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know? And we have the lovers. Interesting energy coming up to that hunter's moon. Um, I'm using the White Witch Tarot to gain the overall energy. And I'm using the Good Tarot to get a little bit more detail about what's coming for you. Ooh, straight away, that's very powerful energy. We have the Eight of Air. We also have the Page of Water, interesting, and we have the Ten of Air, very interesting. Uh, they've asked me to go again, so I will, thank you so, ooh, look at that, that's just speeding right out. And we have the Two of Earth, mm-hmm, we have a double choice card there, Pisces, you've got some thinking to do. And they want uh, the King of Fire, and we have the Star again, wow. So super energy coming up for you for this Hunter's Moon. Um, pay close attention to the signs here because they're giving me feathers, a lot of feathers. I'm not just seeing them on the cards. They're showing me feathers everywhere here for you, just so you're aware. Now I'm also um, giving you uh, the Light Visions Tarot. Thank you so much for it, guys, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisces? What do they need to know regarding... Ooh, Hunter's Moon? Um, just so you're aware, we have the Page of Pentacles. There it is. Um, just so you're aware, uh, I read no reversals in this particular reading. Just, um, thank you so much. Ooh. And we have the Knight of Swords. So we got the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So definitely some sort of partnership possibility happening here. Um, one of you is a little bit more experienced than the other, but let's go and see what's going on. We have the High Priestess. So this is Virgo energy, Pisces. Um, this is about um, trusting in your intuition. There's going to be some sort of secret or information revealed or given to you in some way that actually helps you move forward uh, during this time. Now, trust your intuition. Your gut instinct will not lead you astray here. Um, they're indicating you opening your crown chakra at this time as you move forward towards that hunter's moon. A lot of stars here. You're receiving a lot of downloads from spirit, but also you're starting to acknowledge that there are miracles happening. You're going to start to see um, obstacles start to remove themselves from your path. And it feels very much like if you were feeling stuck before, things are starting to shift in your favor. Finally, okay? Um, you may be look, uh, letting go of some things and doing a bit of healing um, as well as this opportunity there seems to be some sort of opportunity coming your way here um, now it does require um, you to have faith we do have that star card in the antagonist position so as I said you may have um, been wondering if you could ever get this thing off the ground um, but having faith you'll start to see um, things as I said obstacles be removed from your path and you start to see your ascension here and um, the stars are starting to align for your success whatever it is you're trying to achieve get off the ground there passion and strong will will lead the way there um, but there is an opportunity that's guided towards you and you're ready for it okay it brings financial news but also it's about doing what you love following your bliss as long as you follow your heart there it will not lead you astray but uh, the star card is very powerful and you got it twice so this is some sort of recognition for uh, your achievements I feel like you're rising up through the ranks there there's good news success and uh, victory uh, on its way for you with that star card um, also um, they're giving me inspiration. You've had an idea that comes from the heart to your soul and it really sets your soul on fire there. Follow it. It's going to lead you where you need to be. Okay, now there is a slight question mark for you. Not everybody's got a question mark during this time, but you have. We have double question mark here. We have the lover's card. So this is about a choice. So there may be two opportunities to come your way 
and you have to make a choice either or okay now you may be also thinking about partnership partnering up with someone in your soul tribe um, either this is a love interest or perhaps uh, someone you know a sibling because we do have a page of water there so it could be someone who's younger than you or someone um, Pisces that is you there Pisces it's the page of cups there or the page of water um, so this could be someone uh, you know a sibling there or someone you really trust in terms of uh, your soul tribe a friend um, you may be wondering should it is it a good idea to partner up with this person lead from the heart and your gut instinct will never ever lead you astray but they're showing me very very vividly the handshake so it feels like you are making the decision to partner up um, it, it is a choice uh, they really want you to trust that gut instinct as I'm doing a major quickie for this uh, it's on the surface energy um, but we have that eight of air um, now it feels like you're, you're seeing things really clearly, okay? Um, it, it, there's some sort of information that comes towards you because it's crossing that high priestess there. But this Eight of Air, it uh, feels like <sighs> Spirit is really um, encouraging you to see behind everything. See behind the masks, you know, see things as they really are. And all the illusions are being stripped away here. You, there's a lot of signs around you as well. They're giving me a lot of feathers here. Um, so as you move forward, um, it's about following your heart because we have that page of water. Now, traditionally, the page of water um, is about, you know, love and being very studious about what you do. So perhaps you're getting something new off the ground here. But in this particular deck, the page of water is about being open hearted, almost very curious, uh, you know, childlike in, in terms of your innocence as you begin a project. Now, this is something that you're you're leading from the heart. OK, you're following your bliss when you get this page of water. It also could mean that you're partnering up with somebody that you're romantically linked with, just so you're aware. Um, now, um, because you do have that choice here, it does indicate that someone um, you're not sure about it, okay? Uh, we have that 10 of air as well. So if you do decide to walk away from this, they're giving me a diplomacy card, okay? Remember, you can have graceful endings. So if you're walking away from an old way of thinking, you know, then you just leave everything behind. You've had an epiphany and you move forward uh, in truth because the air um, element there is about swords, it's about intellect, it's about communication. So also, if you're leaving one job in order to move forward towards another, um, I feel like you're gonna you're gonna be very graceful with that, uh, you know, diplomatic. Because I feel like um, you're gonna be you're gonna be speaking to these people in the future. Okay, it's about something um, now. It's something financial. So just to let you know, um, but we've got that two of Earth there. So this is the conundrum. Uh, you're going to be doing a lot of multitasking, weighing up many options here, but it's for your financial future. When you get that two of earth, it's a pleasurable um, feeling. You know, you're enjoying your work. It's a good balance between work and play there. Um, but these wonderful opportunities are coming your way. There's two in particular. They're of equal size, actually. Normally I get one is bigger than the other. There's equal size. Um, one you have to stretch for, okay? You have to have a little bit more knowledge for, but you've been doing the knowledge there. Uh, you've got that page of water and the page of pentacles, so there's a studious kind of element there, and that high priestess is knowledge. So it sets you up for being um, at the top of your game. That king of fire, you know, even if... Um, I'm just getting here Aries energy and it's about you being a bold leader, okay? Um, when you got that king of fire there, this is about uh, entrepreneurial energy. This is exciting, um, sort of getting to the top of your game, um, leading with your heart, but whatever it is, you know, it's leading to a lot of happiness here. Um, it's very intellectual, but passionate at the same time. So uh, you've got a lot of courage to see your dreams to fruition. Uh, this is you being at the top, as I said, and perhaps you're becoming your own boss or um, you're partnering up with somebody who is their own boss and you're, you know, becoming an equal partnership here with this. Um, and you may get a little bit nervous about it. You're up in your head about it. Um, but don't worry, because it's going to be very successful. We got the star card. So this is about your ascension. Uh, you've got a lot of inspiration about you during this time. And um, 
the stars are aligning for your success for a very abundant, fruitful time for you with this uh, star card. Uh, now that is Aquarian energy, so you may have a placement in Aquarius there somewhere, um, but you, you will start to recognize that the universe has got your back here because um, there are wonderful opportunities that are gonna land in your lap, as it were, very deep. After a rocky time, they're giving me. Um, now we also have that page of pentacles Beautiful energy there. This is news about some sort of uh, either new job or uh, investment news about money there. Capricorn energy. Um, this is about something you've worked hard for and been very patient about. But can you see those giant strawberries? Okay, and the, there's just a lot of, um, it's going to lead to a lot of growth. So it's a very, very exciting financial time for you. Um, now that page of pentacles, um, we got that page of pentacles and the page of water there. So you may also be gathering information about some sort of new career path that will set you up for the future. Your future self will really uh, thank you for it. But they're indicating this partnership because we have the queen of swords and we have the nine of swords. So this queen of swords, very shrewd, Libra energy, self-sufficient, leading with total honesty and respect. So uh, you're going after what you truly desire there and um, you're nobody's fool, okay? So if you've got a question mark about, about a partnership or um, partnering up with some sort of company or a creative project because we have that Knight of Wands um, taking action, um, don't worry, you've got all the smarts. You've got everything you need with that Queen of Swords there. Um, you're also setting healthy boundaries, okay? You've got strong self-esteem as you move. You're very well or organized, you're ready for this. So don't worry, Pisces, don't worry at all. Now we also have that Knight of Swords. So this is speaking your truth, but this is a change of lifestyle here. Uh, again, we've got this air energy. So um, it's gonna be a very fast change here, a vast change of lifestyle. Um, so there's gonna be a financial opportunity that comes your way that's going to allow you to live a little bit more freely. And financially, it's very, very fruitful. Um, it may seem scary to get off the ground, but you got the courage. Can you see this uh, swan here? Very aggressive, okay? Um, but I feel like that's the business world or your dreams. It, it feels so big, it feels bigger than you that you may even feel like, can I do this? This is quite overwhelming. Uh, but look at that. You're, it's like feel the fear, do it anyway. You're feeling it and you're going after it. And it's gonna be very successful. You have double star energy and you have the king of fire. Nothing is uh, impossible with this read. It is very, very powerful, um, passionate, fruitful and abundant time there. Now, I'm just gonna give you um, a final card from the angels and, and the ancestors. We have spring, your seeds, see your seeds grow. Wow, very powerful energy. So as I said, um, there we go, spring, see your seeds grow. You've already set those seeds in progress and the obstacles, they're all moving out of your way. You're seeing growth here. You've done the hard work, okay, now is the time for you leaping and again we've got this it's like new life i'm getting a new lifestyle so there's a rebirth here very exciting time for you you're rising on up and you're it feels like you're yeah you're bouncing into something new okay now i'm just going to read from the book here as i wouldn't want to tell you anything wrong we have spring seasons okay and it says here embrace the change that is on the horizon allow your dreams to become reality so huge um opportunity here that is life-changing this lifestyle of yours it is you know on the horizon for big changes there um embrace them because it leads to a lot of success that's double star card that's unusual so um rise up pisces it's a very abundant time for you just going to give you a trinket before we go thank you so much for it guys by angel Truly grateful. What do my beautiful Pisces need to know? Oh, we got angels watching over you. Okay, so you're being divinely guided. All of this, you may have felt stuck for a while, but you're being guided to this opportunity to change your life. Um, and it's going to be very peaceful. Okay, so um, don't feel like you're doing this all alone. Okay, you've got the courage, you know where you're going, and you can do it. Um, where did you, they want this. I was going to say, where do they want this? And they want it on the star card, but they're very particular. They wanted the star on the right. Okay. So as uh, you can see, the star is over the moon. All should be revealed. Okay. So there is some sort of um, information that's coming your way that allows you to be very, very successful here. We'll leave it there. Um, whatever it is you're trying to achieve, Pisces, 
know that you're on the right path. You're good. You're doing good. You're on the way. It's going to be very, very successful. Okay, my beautiful Pisces, I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell. Apparently that's important. It lets you know when I update my next message and lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. This is just a one-off bonus for the Huntress Moon. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces. Love and light.